Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. How are we all? Um, good to be back. Good to be back. I hope you've all had a, a good Christmas. I hope you've all had a uh, a good New Year's Eve. I hope you're not. Your head doesn't hurt too much. Um, me and the wife were in bed by ten. <laughs> Parenthood, yay! Don't worry, I'll I'll make sure he pays for it later. <sighs> Hello are we all? Let's say hello to Aramo707, hello to Ben Aaron, hello to Mies Pardon, to Matthew T, to Firehawk596, uh, to Bard Narden, to Mark Schonauer, to Felix uh, Kulbul, I think, yes, to Steek, hello, hello to you all. <clears throat> Where are we? Let's, uh, let's get into the game. In fact, I should just hop on to the, uh, do my usual announcement on the old Discord, if I can find the right sodding thing to click on. Do, do, do. And in there. And in there. Right. <clears throat> I swear to my craft between chronic mine and school, I have not type I I know I know all about not having time for things you want to do. God, I would have had my new uh, my new hard drive installed by now. Four ter four terabytes, four terabytes in two SSDs just sat on my desk. Ugh. <clears throat> anyway, I'll probably do that. Um, yeah, I'll get uh, I'll get Monday's uh, City Skylines video edited together and uploaded and then I think I might do that sort of like this evening into tomorrow morning. So that'll be fun. Let's head into our little, uh, what do you call it, the space plane hangar. Bruh, four ter I've, I've got a one terabyte SSD and it, it is full. It is full full. I am having to I've had to sort of kind of regularly sort of uninstall and reinstall things as and when I need them. So uh, there was a two terab. There was an offer. Um, the Amazon Black Friday deal. There was an, uh, an offer on a, on the uh, on the two terabyte SSDs there. So I made some inquiries about whether or not people. I suppose a parent. Par I say people. I mean my parents and my in laws would be willing to buy them for me for Christmas. And they would. So I have got two of those which I'm going to raid zero together. And Yeah. I have been doing a lot of archiving as well. I had a Cuz for my birthday I got a uh, a Blu-ray burner and I've done nothing with it. This this was a uh, a fifty disc spindle of twenty five gigabyte discs, so that's one and a quarter terabytes in that. And how many discs do I have left? I have uh, that's just a bit of plastic. So I have a five. Huh. I thought I just had the four. No, I apparently have five discs left. So yeah, there's been a few which didn't write properly. So. They haven't all been used to, to, to archive stuff, but yeah. So that means I'm taking stuff off of my archive hard disk, freeing up space on that so I can transfer across from my SSD, preparing to actually reinstall those and also take stuff off my secondary drive where my, um, well, my YouTube stuff is to try and get some more space on that because that keeps filling up. And so on and so forth. Actium, hello to you, and hello to you, Adam Henderson. Shall we get going? Shall we get going? Be nice to get a, a fight started within the first, like, 10 to 15 minutes, because that never happens. Uh, so we start off from Snail Master 100. Oh, do I want a snail master? Shall we just skip to? No, we will do it this way. We will do it this way. Snail master one hundred, the X O seven Mark A long coat. Now this was the thumbnail craft. It uh, uses procedural 
wings with I don't know what the texture mod is but yeah it, it looks a lot blacker outside and it looks kind of really cool um, there's a little bit there sort of like a little nose cone there hmm hmm so we are going to crew that up and we do have a new patron Kerbal. We shall get to that in a moment. Yeah. Either an Ace Combat Craft or an Anime Craft. Uh, yeah. I now have Ace Combat. I now have Ace Combat. I, it was very, very kindly brought for me, bought for me by um, Ion and Luna. Um, I was. Basically, I said I might buy it in the Steam you know, Christmas sale. I was going to buy it in the Steam Christmas sale, basically. But no, they very generously said, no, here you go, Merry Christmas. I was like, oh, thank you very much, guys. So that, that will be coming to... I think I've kind of got to do a first play stream on it now. I mean, that's not to say if you buy me anything, regardless of what it is, I will do a first play stream on it. <laughs> Let's, that, that will be opening up... Um, Opening myself up to some problems. Um, but uh, yeah, that was, that was uh, very kind of them. Uh, I need to work out what I do want to buy from this sale. I've buy so far. I've bought two things. What did I buy so far? I think I've. I think I've been very very conservative so far, sort of like biding my time working out what I want to buy. I haven't bought Papers, Please because that's never on sale and it was on sale for half off for £3.50 and I bought Portal 2 for about £1.50 So anyway, yes, we have a new patron so we have a new patron Kerbal so may I introduce to you Bard Narden Kerman The latest in our list of Kerbals that I will <laughs> we'll get brutally killed time and time and time and time again. It's quite nice because it now means that I have um, eight patron Kerbals, so when we're doing this we can do like two teams of four, one after the other. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on the in the... Um, in the Christmas sale, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to go for. Uh, what's the next on the list? Next up is Ben Aaron's S13 Skylane, I think it is. Something that's been on my list for quite a while. Skylance. Yes, Skylance. I do beg your pardon. Ghosty and Josh, not that long ago they were they were top of the alphabetical queue, but now relegated to third and fourth. Ah. Slightly more conventional fighter. But that's uh, by no means a bad thing. I mean you saw in the Christmas special how um not only Christmas special, the most recent the uh today's video. Yes, today's video, the um BD Army update video, how much Ben Aaron's craft just kind of kicked my backside. I sent it during last stream because it looked like you needed more craft. Was it last stream? Regardless, it was not used last stream, so uh, it, it is it is being used here. Good morning, Legolak. Hello to you. I'm just saying we've just introduced uh, introduced Bard Narden's patron Kerbal in the um, in the X07 in Snail Master 100's X07 and we are just putting Ghosty and Josh in Ben Aaron's S13 Skylance not the Skylane as I thought it was right I think we are all ready to go my god, 10 minutes in. 10 minutes in and we're ready to start. What is happening? <laughs> There's probably people 
probably people by this point it's like nah he's not going to start a dogfight before 20 minutes just relax I am using the very latest version of BD Armory which I and others have noted is um, can be a little bit unstable so hopefully that doesn't happen um, hmm we'll have to see anyway let's um Happy New Happy New Year to you, Legged Lack. Thank you very much for the two euros. That is very kind. Uh, yes, um, Super Chat is enabled for those of you who want to give a little bit that way. Also, PayPal and Patreon links in the description. If you would, if you would like to help support the channel and would like to do it that way, let's get this going. Yours says not, Aramo. Uh, this is the first fight. How the dice just hover over there? I have no idea. Let Jeb fly. Jeb is the, ult is the ultimate Sigma male. What does Heartbleed mode do? Um, Heartbleed um, just basically means the parts gradually reduce their hit points. I can show you in a little bit if you want. Okay. Two Amrams away from Josh Kerman, and I'm assuming the same happened with Ghosty Kerman. What the hell is going on there? These craft are using Kerbal Field, so I... Some Kerbal Field weapons and probably some other stuff as well. So, God knows what's happening, but yeah. It's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. It doesn't look like there's any winners from the... Um, Oh my god, one of the Skylances got kind of shredded by a missile. Um, yeah. It doesn't look to be too badly damaged. Oh, now it looks to be too badly damaged. And Josh Kerman is gone as well. Well, damn. Yeah, Heartbleed mode just basically, I think it's just basically a mechanism to stop a fight from going on too long. I think I have done it on the stream before, we just, I put Heartbleed mode up to absolute maximum. And you just, like, wait 30 seconds, and every part on the vehicle then has one hit point. And <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch. Yeah. So that is the X07 Mark A Long Coat uh, by Snailmaster100 or Jonathan uh, versus uh, Ben Aaron's S13 Skylance, who was doing very well. I think one of them kind of got clipped by one of the Kerbal Field missiles, and yeah, that was that. Uh, who's playing is that P Wing monstrosity? That is Snailmaster. I know I'm 10 subs away. Well, I'm, I'm 7 subs away from 10k. From 2k, sorry. Um, yeah. Anyway, we uh, we move onwards. Yeah, they're slowly melting. I did mention um, zombie mode and uh, disco mode during today's video. Um, I couldn't get disco mode working. I was told how to get it working, but the instruction didn't actually work it. Uh, Kill field is broken. AF. It's it's a it's a touch over pound. What do we have here? What missiles are they using? The uh, CNPL ten, CNPL ten, CNPL fifteen. All with detonation distance override on. Yeah. This is this is not only a P wing monstrosity, also a. Um... Oh, I didn't know you could do curved parts like that. That is, oh, that's nice. Not only uh, only a P-wing monstrosity, but also the subject. So it would seem of a reasonable amount of min-maxing going on. Not sure where it would get into. Um, I see it's actually a wing section. They've just made it. Uh, Snail monsters just made it really thick. Nice. P-10 is fun. Not for Ben Aaron's. It wasn't. Yes, the other thing you missed is we we got introduced to Bard Narden's patron Kerbal. Very good luck. Um, I was told 
when being sent this by Bard Narden that this would be the cheesiest craft I've ever been sent. Oh god, I haven't transferred the sodding things across, have I? Ah! One moment, one moment, one moment. Right. I had those first two in the in the thing because I'd already transferred those across before well a couple of weeks ago. Right. Cancel. Oh, I've lost that. That's blocked by the folder. Let's just bring you back up. It is better to receive than it is to give. Not when it not when it's a missile fight, it isn't. I still have clipped that microphone sound. It's, it's, it's a block of cheese with wings. From the, I have still have clipped that microphone. Which, what microphone sound was that? It's, it's a flying block of cheese. Well, I mean, you know, does what it says on the tin. Is this, this is, yeah. This is a pro. This is an unmanned craft. This is a drone, which kind of throws my um, throws my system into disarray. Cheese, I ate cheese fondue. I've never had fondue. Cheddar Chez from the Among Us game. Was that you actually have a clip of something that was was from the actual stream? Let's let's get these on the runway. Could strap a seat on top, but as uh, as we discover, as I discovered when um, fighting legged lax craft to make the um, your Viking is a drone, huh? Well, we might do drone versus drone then. That makes that a lot easier. Ched Ches up against. The uh, the Viking. If you could share that on the Discord, Matthew, that would be that would be uh, fantastic. Is it Matthew or Matthew? I. Hmm? I have been asking in patron. I've been asking sort of the patrons what they think about uh, some plans for future st for the streams going forward. Um, I will. I will at some point soon be sort of putting that forward to a broader audience within the Discord. So I'll be because um, at the moment it, we're just alternating the um, think Smith think. Uh, we're alternating the mailbag streams and the first play streams, and I sort of want to move past that before too long. Uh, it doesn't matter because no one's going to be actually manning this craft anyway. Wow, that was that was bright for a second. Oh no, don't don't crash the game. Don't crash the game.
Bad Norden. <laughs> right, well let's uh, let's start that up again. <laughs> too much cheese. The cheese is too strong. Shouldn't have gone for the extra mature. Damn it. It eated itself. God damn it. I might... I, I might... Um, yeah, we might try and get that onto the runway using an alternative method. Hammond! Uh, this is the other reason I don't want to go too mod heavy with my installs, because if something like this ever happens, I'd like to get back to the game as soon as possible. KSP is lactose intolerant. Oh dear. Any other cheese related puns might feel free to stick them in there. Yeah, here come the mods. I really preferred Red Leicester. More of a... Maybe more of a Monterey Jack kind of game. Oh, dear. It's weird how some of... It's weird how some of the craft just... The game just goes... Nope. Nope, not, not doing that. Yeah. Remember your weird British place name spellings. That wasn't too bad. Ooh. Ooh, think how think how quick it'll be once I've raid with with once I've raid zeroed this. Yeah, yeah, Red Leicester. Red Lester, as you initially spelt it, is is is, is like some guy from the local, <laughs> some guy from the uh, from the from a nearby socialist party. Right. Dare I load it? Water, not water. The luster is when the heist goes wrong. Good point. Good point. Okay. I'm going to bring you over here, and we're just going to set you down. No, let's make sure you go on the grass. You you be a good little cheese-themed fighter craft, and you just stay there. British. British. Water. Go down to the east, the east end of London. British water. We drink British water. Right. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, up, 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 up. Tomorrow. <laughs> you, 
Yeah, coming in with the uh, coming in with the American equivalent there. Actium, what's what, what's that supposed to be? Ah, that's that's for uh, that's message retracted, huh? I don't know where this I don't know where this kind of tough cockney geezer character has come from but I'm kind of enjoying him the bills I I you have to you have to you have to fill me in there Bard and Tesco has to little oldie spa not that weight trose nonsense We don't have any of that poncy stuff down our way. Oh, the Beatles. The Beatles. So, Felix has sent me two craft. The, uh, the Penetrator. And the Viking. And the Viking being a drone, we are going to go for the Viking. And again, apparently this is a drone, so we just select someone random. I'm going to see if I can, because of course, yeah, 2,000 subs is coming up. Just reminded, I mean, meant to say something about that when someone brought it up. Um, there will be, again, there'll be a celebration. Um, I do have a bit of a challenge for you. If you want, if you go to Britain, you don't want to mess with the Gary down with Gary down the pub. No, no, mate. Send the boys in the van round. I'm lost again. Why are people just inserting random names into the chat? What have I missed this time? Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, I was about to say, it's like we're half an hour into the stream and we're getting going on our second, on our second, uh, second fight, which is about, about normal. And yet we've had a crash and yeah. The Queen approves. Oh dear, let's uh, let's get this one going. Did you set fireworks to go off? When the landing gear retracted. That is genius. <laughs> you need to gain a bit more altitude, my friend. Press F12. And the fight starts. I don't think these are the most stable of craft, but, you know... No, they haven't got missiles away. Oh, we've got a little bit of lateral instability. 
A little bit of your instability. Oh, it's losing. It's losing it. It's losing it. This one. This one seems to be doing all right. I think it's popped enough countermeasures. Oh, no, it hasn't. The Viking going in. Going in, is he... Is it just gonna... Oh, he fires a missile just into some debris. No, my cheese! Oh, dear. F cheese. Well, thank you for that, Felix, uh, and to Bard Narden for it, it, it is, you were correct when you sent it to me, it is the cheesiest craft I have ever received. Damn you Vikings killing me in craft. You were the bravest one. Well, it'll still to live on in our hearts. Let's, let's get back to the space plane hangar. I'm sorry for to Felix, we didn't we hardly saw any of his Vikings. But thank you very much for that. We'll we will we will get to your penetrator later. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're watching Carry On Streaming. What do we have up next? What do we have up next? What's next on the list? I know! 32 minutes and two fights already. We, um... Be some kind of record. So, Adam Henderson has sent me a few craft. I've just had a thought. Completely random thought. Does anybody here... Does anyone here play, play or has anyone here ever played Adom? A-D-O-M. Anyway, we'll, we'll load up Adam Henderson's craft. Regardless. Another one of our re my recent subscribers. Oh, it's another... Ah, it's another drone. And an interesting looking one at that. Is that sm smoke countermeasure pod? Uh, yes, the game. Did you get my simple plan I sent in? Uh, I did get your simple plan. We can have a look at that, actually. Actually, let's, let's stick that on the list. Um, hmm. I'm assuming I'm seeing these shiny surfaces because I, I, I have installed the latest version of um, uh, B9 Procedural Wings Modified. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, oops, eh? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nobody saw anything, we're all good. Now, the reason I say a dom is a guy quite fancy doing, um, doing a live stream on it in the first place but yeah mm. is that a new re I, I assume so the underside has is, is not looking as where's the root is that the root part yeah it appears to be the root part the underside isn't. Doesn't seem to have been done quite the same colour. Uh, 
Oh, God. You know what, sod it, I'm just going to reload the craft. Oh, no, it has. Let's save. It's armor plating and wings. Adam, do you have uh, the th the three you sent to me? Is is any of them are any of them a manned fighter? Just out of interest. If in case you haven't played uh, a dom, it's it's one of the earliest roguelikes, and a roguelike sort of in the truest sense of the word is it's like um, it was originally a text based RPG. Oh, that source that is also a uh, a drone. We are going drone heavy. Well, let's go for the five two three and let's see what we can stick it up against. Let's just go for the next on the list. Can we rematch the Viking for the revenge of the cheese? <laughs> Maybe later. Yeah, let's um I'll stick that down as an idea. Cheese rematch. No, but it's it's considered one of the absolute classics of its sort of uh, of its of its genre, and recently it's got an update, so it's got it's got um, proper tiled graphics as well. I just wondered if there's any particularly nerdies, particularly nerdy '90s gamers who would have heard of it. The GR1 is mad. Oh well, now you tell me. Is it is actually a proper fighter craft? Oh yeah, again, it's the same thing that happened with the uh, with the other one. It's it's sort of blackened outside. Because GR one just coming from sort of like the British. Uh, British aircraft naming scheme it's like that means sort of ground attack GR1 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 flying turkey that looks quite nice oh quad gow eights this could get interesting. Uh, where were we? Okay, so we've had first four patron kerbals. Now on to the second lot of four. Let's go for it. Turkey sandwich. It's it's a little sandwich-esque, isn't it? What do we get for Christmas, by the way, guys? Sorry, I thought there was something along the bottom of my um, along the bottom of my uh, uh, my webcam window, but no, it's it's just it's just things in game. This is... I might turn off uh, brakes until you get it on the ground, just in case there's any... Whoop. There we go. Oh, of course, that, that thing's there, for God's sake.
death. Water cooler and a new P PC. A uh, water cooler and a new PC case. Nice. A uh, box of chocolates and a little and an Aldi gift certificate for a hundred bucks. Huh, you can never escape the cheese. The cheese will just come back to find you. Cheese two, return of the cheese. This time it's Oh, there's not a cheese which sounds like personal, is there? Or if there is, it's probably one of the ones that nobody else has heard of, and hence the joke wouldn't really work. You're just going to park yourself up like that, fair enough. Um, got a pair of bunny slippers from my girlfriend. Oh, that's kind of cute. Uh, I on so Lego Black is next. <laughs> Not very many views today. I'm just wondering if that's um, maybe a few sore heads today. Got a pair of new mountain bike tyres. Nice. I used to do a lot of mountain biking. Back in the day. Uh, next up. Okay, so that Adam Henderson's um, GR1 Flying Turkey. We also have Aramo 707's Kitmaster C94B. I have no idea what this looks like, but Luna Kerman will be in the driving seat. Back in my day, we didn't have your iPhone. We didn't have your iPhone. Where's our Sander? I don't know. I know he's usually always here. He usually sends us sends us craft and everything. Oh, it's a it's it's a prop craft. Where is Hilter? Feels quiet without. It really does. It really, really does. Is this just radiator panels? I might. I might swap this something out for something else, if, if you don't mind, RMO. I mean, we could. Uh... Where's Hilter? <laughs> ah, I love that Monty Python sketch. Um, Aramo, you uh, you kicking around? Okay, it's a deal, and the FA. No, let's go. Yeah. Hilter is slang for jackhammer here. In Britain, it was a Monty Python sketch. The joke was basically Hitler has Hitler is still alive and is running for election in a in a by election in a in a uh, in a small constituency in Britain. Mister Hilter. Being played brilliantly by uh, by John Cleese. No, we uh, we we will um, 
We'll have a rummage around, see what we can find for it to fight. Right. So going down the list, we have, we go to the M's. MiG-49 prototype. And again, Luna Kerman. This looks like a job for simple plan. There's not a lot of people missing today. I, they, they are. I, as I said, I think it might be, it might be some sore heads. After New Year's Eve. Yeah, these 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 retextures. Man, these retextures they do look nice. I got five minutes after the stream started. <laughs> well there's that of course. Sandemar, hello to you. No, you um while you're here, that's the main thing. Uh two 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 MIG forty nine Steak Kerman. I also try to press two or three. I'm not sure I want to. Yes, this is the MiG 49 prototype by Action. It will be going up against the F uh, the GR1 Flying Turkey by Adam Henderson. God, it's taken us a while to set this one up. Press two or three. Oh, that's nice. You've got a little robotic hinge in... Oh, there we are, yeah. little robotic hinge in the bottom. That is that is quite nice. Anyway, yeah, this one's taken us a while to set up, so let's, let's actually get going with this fight. Yeah, let's get started. Yeah, you can stop avoiding the collision now if you want to, mate. it avoid. There we go. What missiles are those? Oh, we've gone for the Kerbal Field. We've gone for more Kerbal Field stuff. I got your channel, I'm glad I found it again, lol. Master N.A. Miata, hello to you. Hello to anyone I didn't actually remember to say hello to whilst we've been waiting for stuff. Anyway, the fight starts. Everyone comes around. I'm Kerman, the... Um, the flying turkeys not getting away of all of missiles yet. I'm not sure what range they're set up to. Oh god, these are Kerbal Field missiles, aren't they? Uh, but it appears the flying turkey is a well put together machine and capable of dodging it. Now they can get their own missiles away. We start with the uh, with the obligatory AMRAMs. Two away at that craft. Ooh. And now I think the. Um, it's the flying turkeys that uh, seem to have the upper hand. Oh, and they do have the quad. They do have the quad gawait, and we have the sound bug kicking in. God damn it all! <laughs> well, I'm glad I switched at that point. That was brutal. <laughs> Luna Kerman in the one remaining healthy prototype Mig 49. Speak too soon. Um, I think still have sufficient countermeasures to dodge that. I don't think there's such a thing as sufficient countermeasures to dodge four Gow 8s. Yeah, that's, that's not... Where's the other, where's the other flying turkey? Where's the other flying turkey? Oh, it's coming in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Luna Kerman. You see, this is why I don't like the NMB cockpits. <laughs> that would kill anything else. That would just plain, flat out kill everything else. Anyway, yes. Um, 
Thank you to Actian for the MiG-49 prototype. Thank you to uh, Adam Henderson for the GR1 Flying Turkey. Maneuverability is... What the hell? Oh, the, the GL1s are still coming. The GL1s are not done yet. That's Luna Kerman. Is Steak's... No, Steak, Steak is... Uh, Steak's dead. Oh, no, and there goes, there goes Luna as well. Uh, low save. Comrade 51, hello to you. I still forgot my Corvettes. Never mind. Yeah, you can go. You can go for the overpowered Kerbal Field missiles, but you 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 can't. You just you just can't outdo. Just a quad gal eight craft that's actually pretty well put together. Next up. Next up. Next up. Next up. We have Titan RT. And his Lekan one one three. Oh God, that rhymes. I don't want to start with that. Yeah, Titan RT's Lekan 113, it performed better than expected. Well, I'm, I'm glad. X stand F6. Um, oh, that's one you've sent to me previously. Are those the missiles you used, Actian? Uh, let's go for the Lekin 113. Gowden Wing. Just check this does have. I can see the little autopilot thing sticking out there, so I'm assuming this does actually have. And there's the there's the yeah there's the weapon manager as well. Okay. No need to panic. Okay. Looking good. I'm assuming this uh, this is up to the usual standards. So we're back to Adam and Barden. Arden will be flying the. Um, we flying the Lekans. The first center of center of lift in front of center of mass. It worked pretty well. Why a two v two and not a four v four or ten v ten? It just time setting them up basically, and you know strain on the old PC. Not that not that a three v three or something would be particularly heavy on the uh, heavy on the. On the old CP, especially now I've got a pretty decent one. It's just um, well, it keeps it nice, keeps the frame rate, make sh make sure the frame rate remains high, and all that jazz. Get you in position. Yep. Ten v ten. Yeah. Ten v ten actually might be might be pushing it a little bit. I like my PC unmelted. Come on, there we go. Ooh, where are we? Yep, another one of the Lekin 113s, and Bardnard and Kerman will be going in here. Uh, PC specs. Um, uh, AMD uh, 5800X, 32 gigs, uh, 30, uh, uh, 3600 megahertz CL16 RAM, um, an R9390 as the graphics card. I think that's the main stuff. A one terabyte hard drive. Soon to be a four terabyte hard drive. 
have sorry one terabyte SSD soon to be a four terabyte SSD by raiding uh, raiding a couple of two terabyte SSDs together. Oh, I see. You've, so I, I've got something waiting for me in my um, in my uh, in the inbox. So the reason that I wanted to go for Tyson RT for this fight is because he's an experienced. Where is it? He's an experienced designer of craft. You're actually going to search. I'm rebuilding my PC. Ah. You're actually going to search for this sodding thing, you bastard. Uh... Oh. It's not simple, it's basic. The craft file starts with basic. Let's get Titan versus um, Titan versus Legged Luck. My friend got a thirty sixty for Christmas. How did he manage that? How have any of you managed to get a thirty series card? New egg. It, it, it was there some sort of queue involved. Scan new egg. It was a thousand US. Oh, so yeah, above the um, above the uh, I think the the RRP as we'd call it in uh, in Britain or the MSRP. I think you call it on the other side of the pond. Ephraim gave me my R9 for 20. We ever have a massive craft combat multiple small craft. We did something similar to that, I think, the last stream. We just had a, a ridiculous meme craft. Who was it that sent that in? Eh. Action! Action sent us a ridiculous craft, and I had it fight against multiple smaller crafts. It, yeah, it was interesting. So, Legolax Basic Plan versus uh, Titan RT's Lekin One One Three. Let's get you saved. Start competition. Getting water cooling on Monday for my fifty hundred. They do run hot. I have noticed that. One of the things I got for Christmas, I don't have it up here actually, is a second fan for my CPU cooler so I can do a push-pull thing. Because the AMDs do tend to run quite hot. Josh and Ghosty Kerman in the basic plan and um, the two newest patrons, uh, their Kerbals are Adam and Bardnard and Kerman are in the, uh, the Lekin 113s. around quite quickly. Uh, the Lekans are as well. They get their missiles away. Adam Kerman, now they turn to uh, to dodge the missiles. Plenty of countermeasures. Oh my god! Oh my word! It's, I mean, it's got the countermeasures. You can see it's got the countermeasures and it's pumping them out, Chortle. But it's it's just not quite getting the... What? Ouch. Huh. 
Huh. Spam ram. My family had. Uh, I give you a GTX 6090 Ti and a, and about 36 PC fan. It's not for free. Um, I 6090. How would that? Comp how would the 6090 Ti compare with the um, the R9 390? Because I know this it the R9 390. My God, it beats the crap out of my seven my old 760 very kindly donated to me this uh, this um, this graphics card by a uh, by a subscriber my three horned goat Jesus who I haven't seen for a while but yes anyway Titan had um, his posterior handed to him that's how you build a competitive plane in nine minutes fair enough What do we have now? I would like to find... We had... We had some propeller planes last time, didn't we? What were they? Spam winder. Spam ram and side spam. I go brr. <laughs> Hello, trip pilot Rilani. Let's take a look at this craft in question, Aramo's Kitmaster. Uh, too far actually, let's work the alphabet out, Smith. Oh, this Kitmaster C ninety four B. Guys, take what? Did I did I read that part count correctly? How long will we go for? I I I have come up early back from the in-laws, so I my wife and the little one are still down there. I'm going to go pick them up tomorrow, so we do not really have a time I need to end. Uh, normally I do seven till nine, um, so I mean. Any other time we were in we were in this sort of situation, I'd say, yeah, we'll, we'll just go for however long. But I think there's a couple there are a couple of bits I want to get done tonight, um, just so I make sure I've got a, a hefty window of time during which I can um, I can change over hard drives and install all the stuff. So probably nine or not long after it. Um, Right, hang on. Was it MRJP one oh nine? Oh, 
also happy new year. happy new year to you as, as well sander i'm just looking up the uh, the list the list the fight list from the last stream um MRJP 109. This is what the Kickmaster went up against last time. <laughs> I think we might demissile this and, and devulcan this. And oh god, there's so much crap here. Uh, Where's just where's just the, the basic browning? Oh, for God's sake! Damn you. Do I need to get... There it is. I think the other one had ten. We'll just go for the four on this. We'll make sure it's got ammunition... Where are the ammo boxes? Where are the ammo boxes? Those are the ammo boxes. Those are the ammo boxes. So I want some 50 cal ammunition boxes just tucked in there. Same as the 20 mil stuff was. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get this out on the runway first, I think. Uh, so we done... How many fights have we done? One, two, three, four... One of them was unmanned, so yeah, it's, uh, it's Iron and Lego Mac. Ion and Legged Lack and Company to go now, so let's let's just get these out on the runway. That sync with the typing was funny when Sander pressed enter as soon as Smith did it, it was funny. Um We'll have to see, Sander, we will have to see. Hmm. Actually you might have a good candidate for that. Coming up in a second. There's been a ton of messing about in this stream, and yet we're still not running be as behind schedule as we, we would normally. I don't know why that is. Maybe just because I'm absolutely shattered after the <laughs> after the Christmas I've just had with the little one, and I'm not really messing about much or engaging. I'm just sort of getting on with it. Uh, we've gone past the hour mark, so once again I'll rattle the tin. Um, uh, Super Chat is enabled, and there are also PayPal and Patreon links in the Discord if you would like to help support the channel in any of those ways. Tin rattling over. Uh, 
MRJ, and it'll be down, won't it? 109A, and this is going to be Lego Pack. He has the poll on to vote on what craft should fight which. Hmm. Sounds a bit like that would require some kind of organisation, and that's 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 just not my thing. <laughs> no, I really should. Uh, I should get something. Yeah, but it's. I tend to do this so last minute. I mean, I've got the list of crafts sort of written out in front of me, so I'd need to sort of like get that typed in so people can choose. Who's gonna fight who and and all this jazz? Oh god, this is this is this is gonna be pain for the computer, isn't it? Because these are three hundred and forty-two parts each. That's unguided. I think unguided missiles we can forgive. I want to see how my how my computer copes with this. Because that's going to be like 700 parts just for the two kit masters. Seems to be doing okay so far. I'm not getting any yellow um yellow shimmer on the uh on the clock. Hmm. Seven views, eleven likes. Thank you very much for that, guys. If you if you hang around there and you haven't given it a like, and you think you might, I'd be much would very much appreciate it as it uh, it, it it does help with the old the old algorithm. Do you think the algorithm's achieved sentience yet? Oh, that's yeah. We're definitely getting some yellow on the clock there. Because I mean, once it once it achieves sentience, surely just we can just start. start I just start worshiping worshiping it or something. Just to boost the uh, boost my ratings. All glory to the algorithm. Right. So our is our sixth sixth fight one. Two, three. No, our fifth fight. Yeah, let's get this one go. Oh no, this is an aircraft fight. Oh, I just, I didn't do that. I didn't mean to click to adjust that. Let's set this to five thousand. That's going to be primarily a gunfight. And these crafts seem to be doing something funky with the brakes. Might require a bit of assistance in getting off the ground. Might require a lot of assistance in getting off the ground. Really do not want to get off the ground. Um. Okay, this one has got up to 500 meters. I'm going to switch the autopilot off of this one. Let's get you pointing up and get you up to altitude. 
What are you doing? That's weird. The throttle... What's the engine? Oh, it's these turboprop engines. I've had trouble with them before. Oh my god, the other kitmaster is in trouble. The other kitmaster is in a lot of trouble. Oh no! It's a mutual kill! <laughs> the other MRJ decides it's gonna just gonna reduce it to 1v1. Oh my god, the other MRJs also try to hand to hand it. And I think, weirdly, that's going to hand it to the Kitmasters. Yeah. Aramo's Kitmasters are victorious. Can we just show the guns? It's the FF. Oh, I think I think the rocket launchers are these. One of the ones that aren't. Yeah, these aren't affected. This is this is this uh, this is affected by um, infinite ammo. Is this not affected by infinite ammo? Reloading. Nice, but that is a lot of guns going on there. Sweet. Anyway. Right, what do we have next? Let's go to... Uh... Let's grab the old Erk stand F6 and let's go... Space, space plane... Oh! I had already downloaded it. Turn barrage. Oh yeah, sorry. I quite liked it with barrage on like that though. Maybe that's just me, but that that was a hell of a rate of fire. Let's have a look at the X stand F6. Did you update your mod files? I did. Mark zero S dot radial dot engine. Huh. Cold War Aerospace. That might be another mod I haven't updated. Contains locked or invalid parts. I think I do have Cold War. I think that must be another mod I haven't updated. Cold, yeah, Cold War Aerospace. Let's 
Is there a version number in here anywhere? Uh, when did I do that? Uh, March last year. Yeah, I probably don't have that one. Update Cold War Aerospace. I could do, but it's not going to work for this stream because I'd have to restart the game. Um, mm. Let me think. Uh, Steak, you sent me the CX-20B1. That seems to be a reasonably sane fighter. What do we have that could go up against that? While we're waiting for that to load, let's go... Bead animation modules, yeah, yeah, yep. I am going to download that now. A bit too late for this stream, but then we know we've got it. Oh god, that might mess with the uh, with the bit rate. Hopefully not. Uh, what else do we have to fight against this? We have Felix's penetrator. That's a that's a reasonably sensible looking craft. I was I was kind of with that name I was kinda of hoping it wouldn't be. Uh we ever get round to playing Mindustry. Mindustry? Takes like twenty minutes though. Let's open that up. Uh, do, 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 do. We might have to do it next uh, next mailbag. Sander. Um, and there are still no version information in there. No. Okay. Uh, which which craft did we have there? Adam Bardnard and Ghosty Josh. We had it was these guys last time, wasn't it? Yes. So we're back to our new patrons. I can't wait for another mailbag. Um, I, I don't know what to say, Sander. Sorry, but it's it's. I am I am disorganised with keeping my mods up to date, and Ccan would probably be an alternative, but I mean I'm about to start recording some stuff where I'm going to need to be swapping mods back and forth willy-nilly and I kind of like to be able to sort of like control that manually that makes sense thanks to the newest version Israel, see, hello to you um, the mod itself won't, if you've got uh, if you've got CCAN it will do. Echo Man, hello to you. 
We did have to restart BD Army earlier. It wasn't, sorry, KSP early. It wasn't too bad. I'll tell you what, if we get through all these craft, I'll see what I can do, Sander. Uh, do, 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 what were we, what were we doing? Ah, uh, yes, the penetrator. Get your minds out the gutter. Yes, anyway, hello to Israel C and to Ego Man. Uh, we've got Adam Kerman, Bard Narden Kerman. Two more of our patron Kerbals, our newest patron Kerbals. Spawn vessel. So those are Felix's penetrators. They'll be going up against Steek's CX twenty V ones. I guess it's related. Happy New Year to all. All hail Ego Man. Good to see you, Drip Pirate Lenny. No problem, Israel. Ghosty. Kraken ate the cheese drone. Yeah, that's that's basically this. <laughs> Summarise today's stream. The Kraken ate the cheese drone. That 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 was the peak. That was the peak of the stream. Uh, I'll tell you what, Sander. We'll get to we'll get to the end of everything I've got on my list, and then if we you know, I'll I'll restart I'll restart KSP. I didn't have any crafts for this mobile. I haven't really played recently. Did all my mods on accident and don't want to find them all again, so I just stopped playing. Yeah, it can be a pain in the ass to just to to keep. Yeah, maybe I'll need to give Seacan a look, as I said. But as I also said, there are reasons I sort of like to keep a bit of manual control over what what mods I have. Right. What do we have? Felix's Penetrator versus Steek's CX Twenty B One. Uh, yep, 10,000. Let's start the competition. The Penetrator's uh, single engine craft. A little slower off the mark, but yeah. Oh, both single engine craft. The yeah, the CX twenty B. These seem to be the more uh, dare I say Lekin like craft. Oh, not quite got the lateral stability to match the uh, to match the turn rate there, but do manage to get around. And both sides seem to have gotten their missiles away. So yeah, now both teams turn to break. Oh my God, that was quite close. Adam Kerman gets away a couple of sidewinders. I don't think he got a lot before firing them, but I think they acquired a lot regardless. Missiles going back and forth. These are both quite manoeuvrable craft. Oh my god. Switches to the Vulcan. Comes around. Oh! Missiles going everywhere. Craft going everywhere. Countermeasures going everywhere. Oh! Adam Kerman. The penetrator flips out. <laughs> the penetrator is out of control. Oh god. Um, it's fa it's a family friendly stream. Bard Narden in a little bit more control of his craft. Oh, trying to line up a shot. Gets away a sidewinder. That. Oops, clicked off the screen. Lost 11. The CX-20B. Oh my god, just in time to see the CX-20B. Absolutely just destroy. And this one, oh my god, Steve Kerman is... 
It's one Penetrator versus one CX-20B, and the Penetrator is having a tough time with it. It's a decent fight. Well, uh, it looks like the, the, the penetrator got shafted. No! Amazing, that was an incredible fight. Right, there's one more fight I want to put up, then I will, as an acknowledge... Oh, the viewer numbers have just started to pick up. <laughs> Damn it, how do I entertain people? How do I keep people entertained whilst I restart, um, restart KSP? Alexander Moore, hello to you. I don't think I've said hello. Anybody else I've completely missed, I apologise. Um... I'm going to go. I've got three left on the list. I'm just going to see if any more stuff has come in through the inbox. No, not through the inbox, not through the Discord. Right, uh, we are going to do this. Suggestions how I can entertain you all while I restart the game. FA4. Five, two, three. Yes, I've, got, I've got four left on, sorry, three left on the list. Two of them are Adam Henderson's drones, so I'm going to put one of them up against one of the the other, the only um, non-Adam Henderson craft I have on the aforementioned list, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, can we send some stuff now? Yeah, you can send some stuff if you want. Uh, 16 likes, thank you very much. If you have any unused footage, you could let that play. I don't tend. To, I tend to sort of wipe if if I if I have a take which I'm not happy with. Um. I tend to just stop it and delete it later on. I have some craft to send in. Um. I will be back soon. Glad to hear it. Well, let's get this going then quickly. Yeah, views are right down today. As I said, you know, there's, there's a quite a lot of regulars we're missing. So, I, as I as I said earlier, I assume it's it's some sore heads from last night. Was anybody out, out? Anybody out last night? Uh, Josh Kerman doesn't matter. Why is that facing the other way? Huh. That could be interesting. Where's the probe core? Because I'm going to need to sort that out or this thing's going to be uncontrollable. Go. 
I went to my friend's house and we all partied till around four in the morning. You see that? That's how it's the news just because I had 2021. No, that's cool. Yeah, party till four o'clock in the morning. That's, that's, you know, that's a New Year's. Not me and the missus in bed by ten because of the little one. Ugh. Let's just take a look at the old Discord. Right, so Steek sent me in a craft. He's called the F-14. Just the F-14. I'm assuming it's that one. There have been a few. What did we have last time? We... It was Adam. It was these, it was these guys, wasn't it? I think it was those guys. So Iron and Legged Lack. Yeah, sometimes when you load a craft, particularly when it's um, when it's a drone, for some reason it, it loads up. Uh, the part that it's being controlled from isn't the right part, and that is that is not where I meant to put that. Uh, also, on my birthday, I will get the uh, J thirty five A Dragon Pack for Thunder two model aircraft of PO two. Oh, nice! Well, our sleep schedules are messed up anyway, so we just stayed up until we ran out of drinks. I remember the Millennium. I am that old. We we ran out of alcohol, and we hadn't had that much, so it was like it was a bit of a bit of a bugger. Right, so get rid of Vessel Mover. Quick save. So this is Adam Henderson's FA523 versus Steek's F14. Let's get them into the air. I didn't sleep long. So many sweet cheeseburgers. Okay, the Jades are doing well. The F-14s, what altitude are they set for? And the fight starts. Yeah, the uh, the 523s away pretty quickly. Yeah, standard mixture. Gow 8s for the guns. The F-14s dropping down onto the uh, onto the uh, 523s, although they're currently expending that altitude to dodge missiles. What the hell is that? Is that... Oh, more Kerbal Field. What the hell happened there? One of the one of the Jades just got absolutely shredded. What is going on here? What sorcery is this? Looks like it might just about dodge those missiles. Yeah. The Jade comes around looking to... It's not got the stability, has it? It's just lacking that little bit of stability. Coming around and... I think it needs some more... I think it needs some more control surfaces. Sorry, I think it needs a slightly higher wing surface. Yeah, what exactly? What, Tony used to eat cheeseburgers. I do not get the reference. Oh my word, that, that's dangerous. Goes for the missile. That is a perfect range. Oh, the F-14 just manages to evade. I think the other, 14, F other F-14 is just going after the remains of the other um, of the other Jade. Oh crap, I've done it again. I clicked outside the window. Yeah, this it's a little unstable, so it can't quite line up those weapons. 
but if it does hit, if it does hit, yeah, the other jade's gone. Like that, for instance. Oh my god, it is just shredding the F-14 now. I think that is gone. Can it dodge the missile coming from the other uh, from the other F-14? Though I think it can. Oh no, it just completely flips out. Now the Vulcan fire coming in. Yeah, that one's that one's kind of dead. This F-14. Yeah, doesn't quite have the turn have the turning power. Is it going after the already pretty much dead? Yeah. Goes in with the Vulcans. Starts extending again. It's just one on one. This is the this is the reason why extending might be a good idea because I mean that F the F the F fourteen is just basically doing circles round this graph by this point. There it goes. Wee. <laughs> uh. Oh, the F-14 coming around. Might get a decent shot lined up. Scorches. Oh, the Jade does actually get some shots away. Oh, it might be. Oh, almost. Almost managed to um, get itself stable, but not quite. Gunfire comes in. I think that was some more damage. I think that's another part gone. But yeah. Comes around for another attack run. Oh no, here comes the ground. Here comes the ground to spoil the party. So Adam Henderson's FA 523s versus Steek's F 14s. Nice. This is a pretty nice aircraft. I mean, it's not. It doesn't seem to quite have the turning circle. Okay, it's got a pretty good turning circle. Not the best we've seen, but it's a nice. I do like it as a recreation of the uh, the iconic F14. Anyway, I did say I was going to reload the game. As, as pedants for not updating my mods. Yes, uh, the F fourteen versus the F A five two three. Do we have anything else? Aiden Barden. Download that. Oh, let's get let's get the game. Let's get the game quit and reloaded before I start pissing about looking at other craft. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, back, okay. Quit. Actually, at this point, it's probably best just to close the window. That's probably just the quickest way to do it, because this, it takes, it can take a while to close down otherwise. Have you received my craft? Alexander... Oh my god. Uh, I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick the KFO one.
maybe no let's let's let's, let's um download all of them actually did I just I just downloaded the load meta future reference guys you don't need to send me the load meta files just the dot craft files Okay, Kerbal Space Program has now officially shut down. Let's start getting it, start bringing it back up again. So, we've got some time to kill. Charles ALS, hello to you. I don't know, let's bring, anyway, let's, um, There's my YouTube folder. Would anybody like to see anything in my YouTube folder? Clear your craft. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. You don't need to tell me because I know. Well, actually, I'm about to reinstall everything, so. Would anybody like to see anything in any of my... This is, this is my YouTube folder. Anybody curious about any of that while the game is loading? Any New Year's resolutions? My New Year's resolutions are the same as every year. You know... <sighs> and if I think of any way to improve myself, I will try and fail there and then rather than trying and failing on the 1st of January. Astrocat, by the way, hello. Nobody any curious about any of these? What do we have here? Channel data, do, 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 do. artwork. These are all of the overlays I have. I don't know why you'd want to see any of those. So things like if I if I BD Armory, I have that. So I just need to stick, you know, the thumbnail image on the background, and that will just automatically take care of that. I am fifty percent curious. Projects folder. That's all of sort of. That's all the. Uh, the actual project files. So every game I have ever played on the channel has a has a folder on there. Um, I mean, among us, it's, there's just a stream. It's just got some of the artwork, logos, and of course, there's a th the thumbnail for the stream itself. I'm gonna see the War Thunder overlay. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. artwork overlays. Uh, War Thunder. It's just that. And then I'd take something like, let's go to War Thunder, common screenshots. Uh, how big are you? Image resize twelve eighty. Copy that. Drop it in there. Boom. Thumbnail. Yeah, that's um. One. Of, that's one of the things. That, oh, we're done. We're done. Good. Um, that's one of the things I was going to say. Um. Yeah, 
the streams I've been talking with my patrons about sort of well I, I mentioned it in the in the patron chat I think we need a bit more of a, a more in-depth chat about it um, it's those are just um, yeah those are just that's just um, that's just the actual PR stuff from War Thunder that's not any of my personal screenshots I think I use the Harrier Was it the T80 BVM? Yeah. I think those are actually official screenshots as opposed to um, something I've made. Right. So, finally. At last. Yeah, what, so there will be... I've got various ideas for streams. One of them will be a games night stream where I play either free to play or very cheap to pick up games and you know everyone is free you know multiplayer games and people are free to join in on the stream uh, things we've had so far War Thunder Among Us um, Rocket League anything else anyone else anything uh, anyone else can think of along those lines um, I'm, I'm, I'm open to suggestions, but as I said, um, free to play or as close to, ooh, I like, I like a lot. Um, so at the moment, as I said, we're alternating alternating um, mailbag streams and first play streams. That is, that's going to end before too long. Harrier, that's a nice Harrier. What's the other one you sent me? Uh... The Afstand MRF one multi role fighter uh, space plane hangar downloads get you across there delete that load meta file I think. Yeah, nice, nice big rear wing surface. Uh, it's this. Uh, it's this or the aft stand sander. Which would you prefer I look at? Yeah, the any the first play streams are going to continue for a moment. Uh, I don't think we've got time for both. Um, I do like this. It's at the, uh, this this time. Yeah, it's, it's going to have to be a choice between one or the other. I do like the way you've got the um, uh, so Sanders Moore has sent me this Alexander Muir I assume that's would it be too late to submit uh, probably XFLA 13X yes anyway hello to you it's um, hmm Let's do the Harrier. Let's quick. Let's get. Let's get going with with something. I mean, I could keep going till. Let's let's keep going till quarter past. I don't have to stop. Um. 
I don't have to stop at nine o'clock. I mean, I do have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, there'll be another mailbag stream in um, a fortnight. As I said, eventually we're going to strip. We're going to switch to a different stream uh, schedule, and I'm I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to fit everything in when we do that because it's I've got five things, five different things I'd like to be doing concurrently if possible, but that's I think people like the once a fortnight mailbag streams so I'm going to have to keep them in and if I want to do the other four that will put us on like a two monthly cycle unless I can find a way to do like a stream midweek and so it's 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 a bit of it's a bit complicated trying to fit it all in at the moment um but hopefully I can find a way Where are we going now? Steak Kerman is next on the list. I have a feeling the kid TM started sleeping more. Um, kind of. No, he's not been. He's never been a bad sleeper. Well, I mean, not recently. Well, I mean, not that bad. Ah, uh, never mind. He's not bad. Yeah, War Thunder. I'm um, talking about um, my my boy, my little my little son, who's thirteen months old now. And then we've reached the bottom of the list, so it's up to the top again for Adam and Bard Narden. War Thunder will be one of the things that's on the list for the. Um, for the uh, for the games night streams. So as I said, anything that's free to play, free to pick up, or can be picked up very cheaply, multiplayer games where people can join in. That's <laughs> that's the sort of thing we're going to be doing on the games night. So as I said, at the moment we've got War Thunder and Among Us and um, Rocket League. So those are those are on the list at the moment. Um, and as I said, if anybody knows of anything else in that vein that would be suitable, then uh, by all means, please. Please feel free to suggest them. If I could get if I could get an occasional midweek stream, that would help a lot because I know what I'd be doing for that. But it's just it's just clearing it. Cat goes fishing long. Anyway, yes, it's yeah. Took us a while to restart. Why? Alexander, do your craft not have League of Legends? Industry is multiplayer for Max Cancer. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as if, it, if as I said, if it, if it's it's got to sort of be the, the the fun, sort of you can just sit back, relax, and have a laugh, kind of uh, kind of game. Only radar. Ah. Beam NG drive multiplayer. How about Raid Shadow Legends?
Uh, let's see what the Thunderjet has to offer. Lol. No, I think I'm going to try quickly, uh, quickly, um, arm the KFO one. If they sponsor you, sure. Oh God, if they, if they came in and offered me money, would I would I accept it? I think I'd have to have sold out pretty heavily by then to actually accept sort of raid Shadow Legends. World of warships, world of tanks. I think I yeah I'm gonna try. Right, matey boy. This doesn't have anything, does it? Uh, oh, I forgot to mention something. I forgot to mention in today's video the. Um, the weapon managers and AIs have been made, the actual units have been made much tougher. So, yeah. You don't need to sort of worry about placing them somewhere where they're going to be maybe a little bit vulnerable. They should be okay. Where's the center of mass? Center of mass is about there. Okay. Oh, God, I hate placing these on the wings like this. Actually, that's not done too badly. What the hell's going on with this, though? The hell are you... The hell do you think you're playing at, boy? Uh... Is that kind of straight? Kind of. It's quite straight. That's better. And... Why? Why in God's name? Again, not quite straight. So need a little bit of adjustment. Um, missiles, 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 missiles. Missiles per target to uh, PID controller. Oh, it's got a new default tune. Huh. Well, I think I'll try leaving it on that. Uh, and then we are going to need guns, a couple of Vulcans. Uh, let's hide some 20mm boxes there.
Oh god, it's going to no countermeasures. Ah. Uh. 16 cursed galates. Well, well, we are going to get this fight done if it kills me. Yeah, going back to um going back to XFLA. Yeah, sorry. I think I think it will have to be next time. Uh, countermeasures, 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 countermeasures. Uh, scrolling down, chaff. Just have... Yeah, I think just a couple above and below. Uh, flares. Oh god, symmetry's not on. Oh. Piss flaps. <coughs> Excuse me. Set them back. Offset them a little bit like that. I just gives them a bit of character. I don't think it does anything really. Uh, tilt them back a little bit. Oh, I'm not clicking the right thing, am I? Why did I click that? Okay, I think this is done. <laughs> Smith explode. How old is this channel? Uh... Yeah, it will be four years old in June. Right. Let's get this final fight underway. Thank you. Thank you, Israel. None of you other bastards bothered, did you? Ugh. Eight viewers, 16 concurrent likes. Thank you very much for that. Uh, it'll be four years old because May 29th. Um, technically, yes, although... Um, it's not been an active channel since then. The, the its anniversary as an active channel will comes on um, June the sixteenth. This is kind of tense for me. It's interesting to see that uh, it's got a new BDR has got a new default. I keep thinking of or seeing things I really should have put in today's video, but yeah. Uh, also, I've worked out why, because I've done like three BD Armoury update videos now. I did one for 1.4.1, 1.4.6, and now 1.4.14. And I kept getting confused because 1.4.1 kept getting a ton more views than any of the others. And I'm like, why is, why is that? It's because Google, if you Google BD Armory for Runway Project, or just BD Armory Runway Project, my video actually appears in the Google search results. So that's why it's getting a ton of... Hey, Project Zomboid. I'm, gonna, I'm making a, a note of these. In case anyone's interested, Epic Games, they now have the the most recent Tomb Raider trilogy for free. That was something mentioned on... Um, I already had, like, numbers one and two, which I picked up for dirt cheap through Steam during a stay... During a stale? During a sale. But yeah, you can get all three of that trilogy. I played one of them on the most recent... Uh, not the most recent... Uh, first place stream. What was the most recent first place stream? I'm going to have to check now. Uh, oh, it was the most recent first place stream. Yes. I played the first one of that. those three. Um, I've got a new comment, apparently. Would you sod off now? Thank you. Yeah, and you as well. Oh. Right. Not 
you. Switch them on to different teams. You, I've noticed, have moved off on a bit of a wonk. Right. Sander Moore's X and F6 Hunter versus Alexander Moore's KF01. Armed by yours truly. Let's quick save this and get these into the air. Those, oh, there's VTOL engines taking a while to uh, spin up, but it looks like they do actually have a decent bit of thrust once they get going. Uh, there they go. Maybe the more realistic craft of the two, although I'm not sure that's going to stand them in good stead. Uh, I could probably do with some more wing area on this thing. Let's get you pointing upwards, because otherwise you're never going to get up to um, never going to get up to altitude. Competition starting. All these things can turn quite well. Improvements are being made, I notice, on your craft, Sander. Oh my god, those are coming close! That is a hit. That is a glancing hit. But sadly, glancing is, is all you need to get. The KF-01s, yeah. Zooming in. Oh my god, that is, that is brutal. That is brutal. Yeah, these are doing quite well with the default tune. Your, your craft are improving, Sander. I do have to say that. They, they, they genuinely are. That was um, definitely an improvement with the with the increase on the tail increased surface on the tailplane. That one needed a little bit more wing area on it. Anyway, quarter past nine, almost exactly when I said I would probably go. I have things to do. I have a City Skylines video to uh, edit together, get uploaded. And then then I'm going to start taking this thing apart so I can stick these things in it and then I need to get everything basically stuck back on it so everything reinstalled so I can actually um, resume making videos before too long um, Stormworks Right, yes, I, we are going to have to go now. Um, thank you everybody for coming along. Uh, 18 likes, thank you very much. Thank you very much to Legged Lack for the, for the uh, two euros. Yeah, thank you for viewing, thank you for liking, thank you for sending craft. I will be back next week with a first place stream of some description or another, and then in a fortnight's time with another mailbag. Um... Yeah, um, and I will be trying to work out in discussion with the patrons and later on with just the general Discord what the stream schedule is going to look like sort of going forward. I'd like to get that implemented before too long. Anyway, yeah. Um, another more BD Armory next weekend in the 4pm 4, uh, 4 video and of course more City Side Skylines during the week. Um, until then though, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time.